Hello, welcome back. This is Maurice Gimba. And since we are done with the full uh, with placement of the slab and also defining the wall sections, and uh, we've gone all the way to the full height of a building, now we want to subject our building to loading placement. We want to place loadings on our structure. So without, without wasting time, let me just click on empty screen or click escape to deselect the part that, that, that we selected previously when we are defining the wall section on our model. So I'll come to I'll come to, to the bottom end here and, and uh, pick on the loading that we want to deal with. I'm going to pick on the dead loadings right there. So I'll come to I'll come to load. So prior to that, I want to go to a height or to the level that I intend to, to, to place the loadings. So I'll go straight to, to that level. Uh, uh, B1.1 uh, one. and to confirm that I can go back to home I can I can back to I can go back to model and click on construction level so that you see the level we are working on we are working on this level here right on at the at the zero zero level on top of I mean on the ground on, on the ground level so let me just close that and switch back to my loadings so I've picked on on the dead loadings so once I've picked on that I'll come to to load then I'll go straight to full UDL and pick on. I'll click on on it. So we want to define the loadings we want to apply here, and I'll apply uh, 14 kilonewton per meter. So let me just type 14 there, 14 there, and uh, click and click on empty screen so that we are we, we want to apply these loadings on the exterior walls of our building. So let's get started. I'll pick on that side. I'll place a load there, and I'll place one there, and place I'll. I'll just select on this exterior wall all the way like that and pick on that section and select on that section and select on this section and select on that section and pick on that. And I'll pick in here like that. But on the, on the interior, inter, interior walls, the wall tends to be uh, on this, uh, to be smaller size. So we can change this to uh, seven kilonewton per meter. So we'll just type there seven and click on empty screen just to to, to let that number appear on our on our, on, on, the, on that field. So let's apply the the seven kilonewton loading on the interior walls here. So since on this side, we we'll just place right there. Just place assign the loadings like that, and assign another one on that beam and assign it on that beam. So the next thing we want to do here is very simple. We we'll switch back to 3D or to isometric to isometric and check uh, how the how the loadings appear. So prior to that, we want to also add the live load live loads. So to apply live loadings, we will come back to the loading sections and highlight on the loadings that we want to apply. And I'll pick on the imposed loadings. So I'll come all the way to level loads and pick on that and uh, defined and place there and place there and place there. So that's it. So if I switch back to to a 3D or isometric view to check the loadings, uh, uh, how the loadings have, have been placed, we have the loadings in place. So the, the live loadings we, 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 we had placed did not, uh, uh, were not uh, shown because the slab we don't indicate. We did not indicate the slabs there, so that was not uh, appropriate. And we'll apply the the live loadings on this on the first floor on top here. So you can see how the the dead loads were have been applied on the beams at that level. So let's switch back to to the next level, and we'll, we'll double click on the on the on the first floor there. So we want to apply. We want to assign loadings on the second floor. Or along the exterior walls here. So I'll assign this uh, 11 kilonewton per meter here. So I'll come, I'll, 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 I'll define the loadings we want to work with. I'll come to dead loadings there and uh, go all the way to full UDL, uniform distributed loading. So I'll just click on that and start uh, assigning the loadings. So prior to assigning the loadings, uh, I've, I've not defined the, the 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 right loadings that we, we want to apply there. So let me just press control and then do that. So I'll come to general or, or on the on the property sections here and place uh, or define the, the number of loadings I want to assign on the, along the beams 
or on the exterior walls. So if I click on empty screen here, you can see we have 11 kilonewton. So I'll just begin by assigning the loadings on the exterior walls here. So I'll click on that and click on that and click in here and click right there and click right there and click all the way there and click right there on stair sections and I can sign another one there. So the next thing I'm going to do on the on the interior walls here, I can, I, I can reduce that loadings to 5.5. I can just come here and type 5.5 and click on the empty screen here to let that reflect on that field. So I'll go ahead and start assigning the loadings like that. Place one there, place the assigned loadings like that and click on that spot and we're fully done. Now on the live loadings, I'm going to I'm going back to load, and, uh, uh, and this time round, I'm going to pick on the loadings, on the live loadings, and this one will be impost loadings under live loadings. So if I pick on the impost loads, I'll come to level loads and select on that, and that has been highlighted. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to come to isometric view under 3D and click on that, and you can see uh, the live loadings have been highlighted right there. You can see that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to populate this upward by going to by switch back to model and come to construction level right there and uh, target this level. This level is the base. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to the next level, which is one, and click on that drop down arrow and pick uh, assign source as base, as base, uh, as base there. So as if I click on that spot and click OK, and that will be copied upward. So I'll come back once again and assign a different loading on top of the, on the final on, on top of the final floor here so we'll switch back to we'll go all the way to the final floor and double click on it right there and assign loadings here so we will assign uh, loadings on the staircase side on this on the staircase and also we'll assign loadings on the parapet walls around around the buildings and also apply the live loadings on the slab so that is what we are going to do right on the next presentation of this part of our uh, presentation. Let's meet then this Mods Dimba. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and bye bye.